to my channel. I appreciate it. I want you to keep a lookout for a contest I'm going to keep once I get to 100 subscribers. So I will let you guys know. This reading is about what does the universe want to convey to you? What messages does the universe want to give to you? First and foremost, I'm going to take this card, the queen in reverse. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Hope you can see it real quick. Yes. So you guys, a queen of swords is a person that's very calculated and cold and callous. They will undermine you. It's a Libra energy as well. I know I said it's air, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, but Libra is Libra energy. So, gatekeepers, what does the universe want power one to know? Just to let you know, guys, it's not going to be a long reading. Okay. So you have the Palace of Wands in reverse. This is a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. It's in reverse. So you hear the, um, what I'm about to say is true. You hear the horn? Your creativity is not being utilized. And you have the five of coins in reverse as well. Are you trying to come out of lack mindset? Because upright, this is lack mindset. It's like being left out in a cold. But in reverse, it seems like you want to come out of that. Or maybe you still, you probably are in that energy and a lack mindset energy. This is a Taurus energy, if you want to know. I'm going to figure it out, though. Why is this five of coins in reverse for power one, gatekeepers? Why does the five of coins in reverse? Because the two of swords is in reverse. More Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Maybe you have a moon in Libra. This person could have a moon in Libra or predominant Libra energy. But the Libra energy is strong here. And the opposite of Libra is Aries. So you have fire and air here. So two of swords in reverse. Why is the two of swords in reverse? Because the three of cups is in reverse. You're not coming together. You're not being creative. You're not joining force, for, little forces with, with anyone. Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is a um, Pisces energy. Why is the two of swords in reverse? And why is the three of cups in reverse for power one? Gatekeepers. Why is all these cards in reverse? Oh, my deck is in reverse. Okay. Because I was about to say, why are all these cards in reverse? This is not. And it's like six something in the morning. I'm like, it's too early for this kind of energy. Well, hold on. I'm going to get this reading together for you guys. Okay. So let's turn everything upright, being that it was in reverse. Put those there. Okay. Now we could come together with something that's going on. Okay. You guys. The Queen of Swords is upright, right? So this is the truth, what I'm saying, because the swords are truth. It's good that you are being analytical. It is good that you're being logical. It is good that you are in this um, energy that you will hear a person out, but you don't want to hear no bullshit. I like this for you. And then you have the Palace of Wands. I told you it's fire already. So you're very fiery and you're very analytical and you're ready to go. This could be a very lustful card too. Sexual. Lustful. Being charming. That could be that too. But it's grounded energy. This energy is grounded. It's, it's not ungrounded. So we're going to figure out more as we go on. You have the five of cups right here. Upright. So this person is being left out. And this person have a lack mentality. It's a Taurus again. Have a lack mentality or have a Taurus and Venus or be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It's like this person could go here and get help. There's help, but this person is not going for help. It's like they intentionally want to be burdened. But the five of 
Can you see? Let me see. Let me see. Something for you guys. If you can see now, the five of coins is looking at the palace of wands. And they're over here looking at the queen of swords. So we're going to figure out. You have the two of swords. Somebody's in their head. Somebody's not making decisions. Somebody's trapped in their head. Again, this is Libra energy. Like I said, could be a Libra moon or it's a Libra Gemini Aquarius, but it's Libra energy. You're not making decisions, but you're using your intuition to make your decisions. I could tell you that. You're not just lie, lying here in suspense doing nothing. You're trying to tap into your intuition. And then you have the three of cups. This is coming together, partying, celebrating. That's what this is about. Teamwork, you know, a family, teamwork, partying. It could, you could put in any type of situation. Are you in thought about this? About teaming up with someone? And then these cards came out after I realized that the whole deck was in reverse. You have the Six of Cups. This is a young child. It could be somebody reminiscing. It could be somebody that's immature emotionally. And it's a Scorpio energy. It could be a Scorpio moon person. Then you have the Knight of Swords. So you have the Knight of Swords and you have the Queen of Swords. So we're going to figure this out. The Knight of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And the Knight of Swords is looking up at the Queen of Swords. The Knight of Swords is a child or is a very childish person. Why is the Knight? Yeah, it could be a child or a childish person. You see how the children are here? I'm giving you several ways to look at it. Don't pigeonhole yourself in one in one avenue. If it um fits, apply it. If it doesn't fit, do not apply it. Remember, this is general. It's going to go for a lot of people. But I'm going to try to dial it down as much as possible for you guys to know if it's you or not, if this power is here for you or not. Why is the Knight of Swords looking at the Queen of Swords? What does the universe want to tell us, um, Pal 1, about this? What messages is the universe trying to get to this pal. Why is the Queen of Swords the Empress? This is a mom or a very it is either a mother or a woman that is like an Empress energy. And the Empress energy is all queens in one. Queen of Air, Queen of Hearts, which is Queen of Cups. Then you have the um Queen of Wands. And then you have the grounded energy, the pentacles. So she's all queens in one. She's very nurturing. You see the baby in her hand? She's very nurturing. She mothers everything. She's very um, fertile. You see the, the abundance down here? It's not telling me why. Why is the knight of... Why is this empress here? What does Pal 1 need to know about this empress? It's not going to be a long reading for you guys. So I'm going to try to get as much information out as possible. So the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords need to know about the Empress that it's a bunch of cups now. Ace of Cups is the beginning of beginning of love. Yeah, it's the beginning of love. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And the King of Cups is a, a mother or father. Someone's very nurturing and very loving and What's going on here? Maybe the, the, the mother or father want a new beginning with their child. You're not speaking to your parents, maybe. Why is the five, the page of coins in reverse? I'm not taking that. Why is the five of um, coins here? I want to clarify that. Because of ten of cups. 